So today we're going to work on lesson seven in chapter two. We're going to be subtracting across the zeros. So let's start with example two. And it says there were 3,090 fans at the stadium on Saturday. The next Saturday there were 22,997 fans. How many more fans? How many more? That's going to tell us that we're going to be subtracting. We're at the stadium on the first Saturday, then the second Saturday. They are comparing. That's what that word than is there for to show us that we're going to compare. So they have our steps. We're going to subtract the ones, then we're going to subtract the tens, then the hundreds, then the thousands place, then the ten thousands place. That's going to look like this. I'm a, let's talk you through it. We have zero ones in the ones place, and it says zero we're going to subtract 7 from it. If we have 0, can we take 7 away? We can't. So we're going to go next door. And we're going to take a group of 10. And we're going to record that we're leaving 8 there. So let's put our group of 10 there. 10 minus 7 now gives us 3 because I know that 3 plus 7 equals 10. So now we move to the tens column. 8 minus 7. If we have 8 tens minus 7 tens, that leaves us with 1 ten left over. Moving to the hundreds. I have no groups of 100 and I'm supposed to take away 9 groups of 100. So we're going to have to go next door and take a group of 1,000. But, oh look, I don't have a group of 1,000. I'm going to have to go all the way to the 10,000. So I'm going to cross out the 3 and record that I'm leaving two groups of 10,000 there and I'm going to put that group here but I still need to move it on so now I'm going to, I had 10 there, I'm going to record now that I'm going to take one away so I'm leaving 9 behind and I'm going to put 1 over here so now I have 10 hundreds minus nine hundreds, so ten minus nine is one. Now I can finish the thousands. Nine groups of a thousand minus two groups of a thousand is nine, seven thousand. Okay, and two minus two is zero. We don't need to put anything there. There we go. Okay, so let's work on a couple of guided practice down here at the bottom. We have 3 minus 4. I can't do it, so I'm going to have to go next door. But there's nothing there. It's just zeros. I'm going to have to go all the way to the thousands place and take a thousand. So I'm going to show that I'm leaving one there, and I'm going to put it here. But I can't leave it there because I still don't have anything in the tens place. So I'm going to cross it out. I'm going to show that I'm leaving 9 behind, and I'm going to put that here in the tens place. So now I have 10 tens minus 50, so 10 minus 5. So, whoops, still got to go further. So I'm going to record, leave that there. And so there, sorry, I knew we had to go all the way to the ones place, didn't we? So 13 minus 4, 13 count backwards, 12, 11, 10, 9. Let's record our 9 because 9 plus 4, 10, 11, 12, 13, using touch points, okay? Now 9 minus 5 leaves us 4. 9 minus 1 leaves us 8. So we can add 849 to the middle number, and it should equal what's on the top. So 9 plus 4 is 13. 4 plus 5 gets us 9. 8 plus 1 gets us 9. And we're good to go. So let's look at number two, our last problem. Again, we're subtracting across the zeros, and boy, do we have a lot. So let's just start here. We're going to take that group of 1,000. We're going to leave 7 behind. So we're going to put it here, but it can't stay there. We've got to move one on. So it can't stay here. We're going to move it on one more time. Now we have, instead of 0 minus 2, now we have 10 ones. Minus two ones leaves us eight ones. Nine minus nothing leaves us with nine. Nine minus five leaves us with four. And seven minus three is four. So eight plus two is ten. Nine plus nothing is nine. Four plus five is nine. 
and 4, 5, 6, 7 is 7. That's subtracting across the zeros.